Welcome back to another episode of Connie Celica meets BMZ. We've got a whole bunch of cool parts for you from SQ Engineering, including the shifter relocation kit. And a new dust cover to cover the gaping hole we left in the transmission panel. To install those parts, we gotta pull BMZ back out again, so let's get to it. In this giant moose paw are some bolts and spacers, and this uh, tooth device is from SQ Engineering. It's called their ring gear locking tool or flywheel locking tool. And uh, Sam from SQ noticed we struggled to hold the flywheel while torquing the flywheel bolts down. And he's like, well, you guys need to do it right. So let me send you this tool. It only costs 20 bucks, and it uh, bolts to the engine block with some spacers behind it and engages with the teeth there. So you have a nice secure attachment point. Flywheel can't turn. We'll have an easy time bolting it down. No pressure, Moose, but the internet is watching. Damn it, you're making it look easy. I'm just that good. I hate it when you succeed, Moose. So does the internet. Well, so does the internet. What? a pretty big moose fan in general I would say. Strange to me but it's it's happening anyway. So let me get my torque wrench and we'll oh redo the flywheel bolts which by the way we should mention this whole process is because well I misread the shop manual and you guys mentioned in the comment section hey those should be loctited those flywheel bolts should be loctited and I was like no no we're fine and then I read the manual again and realized yeah they're supposed to be loctited. And to give Dave some credit here, we have to come. We want to. We have to take this off to change out the dust cover we talked about. Yep. Anyways, so not a big deal to take the clutch off and retort or to Loctite these properly. So yep. go easy on me, internet. I make boo boo sometimes. But before we bolt up the flywheel, we need to install this new dust shield from SQ Engineering. That's the OEM one on there now. And before, obviously, when this was closed in. Um, it was covered, but now since we had to cut everything out for, uh, for rack and pinion clearance, we have a big gaping hole with dust and dirt and stuff to get into the clutch and flywheel area. Yeah. So we've got this beautiful SQ Engineering set. Which will bolt up just like that. Beautiful. And does a really nice job of sealing everything up. Okay. The cookie break, everyone. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> disturbing. Deeply disturbing. Okay. The time has come for this cookie! Alright, so do that. Ten times. Well, I think it's eight times or nine times. I think it's eight times. Anyway, do that a bunch of times and we'll torque her down. I'm happy to make time for your feelings But you have to admit I already do Let's just break it down Before we finish off the dust shield down there for the tranny We are going to install SQ Engineering's slimline rear housing This very sexy billet aluminum piece and as you'll see once it's on the engine it's much lower profile than the big bulky one that's there which gives you better firewall clearance we don't really have firewall clearance issues but we liked it because it cleans up the routing of all these coolant lines it'll actually let us delete a bunch of the redundant lines because we're not running a heater core we're not going to run lines to the intake manifold since that's gonzo so it's just going to give us a much cleaner back of the engine here and uh Plus it just looks baller, and we like baller stuff. So, Moose, tear away. Yeah. Moose mm. are coming off already. You creatures know how to strip a hose faster than Moose. Come 
time. That was quick. All right. So, yeah, that's that shows you how much lower profile it is. Let's see, where the, see where the hose kind of sticks out to. There is also a barb to thread fitting so if we want to reuse one of these heater core lines and as well as a, uh, a block off. Sure, we have a nice uh, gasket that comes with the kit, uh, custom made to fit the uh, beautifully machined uh, water assembly. So. She's a tight -a fit. She is a tight -a fit, and I do not want to break her. Do not break. She's very beautiful. There you go. Very All right. nice. Bolt that on there. We'll route the main lines to it, and uh, I think we'll just block off the line that uh, we're not using for heater core or intake warming, and uh, we'll be in, in business. As you can see, the hose sticks out past the, the fitting on the uh, SQ Slimline housing, so we're going to just uh, rotate the hose a bit to try to get it in a better position. So, we thought about like trimming the hose, but Moose came up with this idea of just rotating it from the uh, from its lower mount location. And just dropped it down a little bit, so released the clip, it and oh, yeah, it lines up quite nicely now. Moose is just pulling off these lines. That Warm the old throttle body setup. Obviously, that's redundant since we're going ITBs. And all we'll have to do is figure out a block off for this uh, throttle body line. Hey, who's this? Yeah. Who's Binu? Are you watching Toopy and Binu? <laughs> all right, back to business here. Uh, we're just going to cap this little fitting off here. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty sure they make uh, rubber caps. That they do. We so do. instead of doing a Pete bolt. Pete has a bunch of them at the shop, so I'll just bring one of those caps home. We need two of them. One for this one here, which is the other heater line. Yep. Oh, the heater core line over there, yeah. yeah. This is trying to manhandle that big boy off there, but yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. There we right. go. Right, so we'll put a big cap on that line. A little cap on this little one. little cap on that line. And we'll, we'll plug that hole with the supplied uh, plug. Yep. Matter of fact, why don't you grab that plug right now, Moose? Officially blocking off this, this port where the heater hoses would have routed out of. So we are using all the slim line goodness that SQ can give us. Here is our SQ Engineering shifter relocation kit and Moose is about to give you a demo how it all works. So you can see the original shifter location uh, sits the shifter at the back, the tail of the transmission. Our initial thought was, before we knew about this kit, was we could move it forward into the forward mounting holes. What that would do is I'd bring it back a couple extra inches and then we'd have to cut less of the, of the actual transmission tunnel. Yep. The beautiful of this system is that it actually brews it right back here. So we move from a shifter location, which is essentially right here, Almost six inches, I'd say. Oh, at least, yeah, maybe eight inches. So theoretically, there should be absolutely no cutting required on the transmission tunnel. Once we move the shift knob right, it basically mounts right in here. Already, we're going to look at how this original OE shift knob transfers across to the new uh, mount and see how this goes. It's not goes. a shift knob, Moose. It's a shifter arm. It's a lever, not a knob. The knob is on the end here. You're the knob in this. It's true, but let's get our terminology straight here. Shift Columns, lever. Columns, racks. Levers, shift knobs. Salica, Salica. Come on, let's get it right. All right, get back to work, Moose. What's going on here? We are going to transfer this shift arm. Yes. Or shift lever. Lever, yes, sure. From the OE mount onto the nice new replacement mount. Yeah. So figure out how this comes apart. And I believe under this dust cover, I should have some fasteners. Are you done yet? Well, I didn't bring my power tools over, so I gotta do it by hand, so it takes a little bit longer than normal. Please hurry. Ah, uh, no. I the, don't feel like hurrying, Dave. The internet is waiting. Please hurry. <laughs> Ooh, kinds of goop and stuff. Oh. Okay, that explains the pivots. So we've got a nylon carrier on the, the lower shifting ball, and these two slots ride <laughs> on the two pivots. Inside the SQ piece. Inside the SQ piece, yeah. Trying okay. to figure out how this works is kind of cool. His monkey brain is struggling hard, everyone. 
He's only recently escaped the jungles of oh. Musistan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is where you add some sort of weird music and speed things up. Oh, and, is that what I do? Yeah, I, I'm sure you do, Dave. Is that my style? I don't know. Could be. You know, we haven't had any theme music in a bit, I don't suspect. So. That's true. I don't know if it's time for a disco interlude or for a trip down to the bayou. Yeah, well, I don't know. We've got all this little sort of handwork happening, so maybe it's bayou time. Although, these parts from SQ are all from Australia. Maybe we need some kind of a... Uh, oh, uh, diggeridoo. Didgeridoo. Didgeridoo, yes. Is that fully assembled now, Moose? Fully assembled is toit. It's toit like a toiga? It is toit like a toiga. Can you play it like a didgeridoo? The new feature on this uh, relocation kit, SQ offers a bushing, a brand new bushing for where the uh, shifter lever interfaces with the arm, well, with the tranny basically. Yep. Uh, so we're going to replace this bushing. Moose just popped it on briefly and you could see there was a bit of play. So this, it, it's like made of what? Plastic? This looks almost like Dalaran versus Dalaran a white Dalaran versus yeah. nylon. It's nylon or something like that. So they, it wears with time. So why not put the fresh one in and we'll have a nice tight shifter feel. All right, gently in the vise. See if we can tap that on there. Yeah, lubed it up and see what happens. Yep, there she is. They're on, nice work. There you go, folks. If you need anyone to uh, hammer your nuts or your balls or your sleeves. sleeves, you found your man. Pushings. He'll hammer all of it. Gladly. We're just going to uh, attach this uh, end piece from SQ Engineering using the factory hardware. So there's a roll pin and then a, a, a bolt. bolt. So I'm just going to have to grab a center punch to punch that Through. roll pin in and then we'll bolt the, the back bolt in. All right, forget the punch. We're just going to tap this in there. Bingo. There we go. We have shifter connectivity happening here. And this guy has some built-in dowel pins right into the the base, right, right into the machined uh, base, so which match up with the OE. With the holes on here, so everything should just uh, should pop right in place, shouldn't it? Yeah. Nice. And. Oh yeah, they provide uh, hardware too. Yeah, so low profile hex. That's a nice touch. Nice and gentle, Moose. Nice and gentle. You know, this is only a couple little daddy daddies. Yeah. Actually, I have a shift knob to replace this gnarly old one with too. Maybe I should go grab that. Since the stock shift knob is kind of worn out, I ordered a TRD one off of, uh, I don't remember where, but um, Moose is going to install the TRD one now. Yep. So it literally just screws on and off here. Not a, not a complicated job. Oh. However, David, in infant's wisdom, chose to have slightly smaller balls. Mm, that ball is a little small, isn't it? Yes. I mean, with the size of your meat hooks. I'm I mean, feeling a little... Underwhelmed personally. Yeah, yeah. I like a big ball in my hand. I don't know if I'm gonna really be at one with this little ball. But it does have a TRD logo on there, which it's just worth two horsepower. That gives me internet cred. Anyway, we'll slap it on there for now, just because it looks prettier. We'll sort out the uh, the girthiness at a later date. Since we're getting ready to throw Beamsy back into Connie's Bay, we figured we would clean up the steering rack, which is just looking a little rusty. Got an assortment of uh, rust removal tools here. It's putting off a lot of rusty dust here, so we're masking up. A little bit, yeah. Give it a, Give it a try, but this, this mask is annoying me. Yeah. It doesn't fit real well, my... That was a dusty mask. Oh my God. Nah, this... Uh. You need a more serious mask than that, Moose. Yeah. Oh, now we're talking. My alter ego. That's pretty much a wrap on rust removal. Moose even cleaned up this uh, aluminum area and it looks good. So next up a quick coat of paint and then we can uh, reattach this to the 
A86 front cross member. These are our replacement steering rack brackets and bushings from Excessive Manufacturing. The reason this is worth its weight in gold is you just can't get these brackets for the A86 cross member and you can't find these bushings either. Toyota doesn't sell them anymore so you got to go like record yard diving and you just literally cannot find them so thank you Excessive for making these because it's going to make our life a whole lot nicer. Plus these bushings are going to be a lot stiffer than the, the, the worn out old rubber ones that we have so before we put this all together, Darth Moose over here is uh, throwing some paint on our rusty old well, rack center section. Well, rust converter anyways rust converter, initially. Yeah, yeah. The base prime and then we'll throw some paint on top of that. So let's show the peoples how these uh, excessive brackets and bushings go on the rack. Well, it obviously only, really only goes one way. We got a D-shaped portion on the actual rack itself. We have the bushing, split bushing wraps around. Yeah. It sits nicely into the square in the bottom there. Down here we've got a, another split round bush. So there's a little tab there that that goes into on yeah. the... And we have a retaining there. tab and... Yeah. And that's about, that's about it. Before we reinstall Beamsy, I just wanted to show you the block off plate from SQ Engineering for the transmission. It's all sealed up nicely in there. So I think it's time. Slap this thing back in Connie. As you can see, our SQ Engineering shifter relocation kit is right in the middle of the hole. No need to trim any of the sheet metal. And with the shift lever on here, with our sexy TRD shift knob, it's actually in a decent position. It's maybe a little bit far forward, but uh, we have some adjustability with the excessive engine mount, so I think we can move it back a little. The only problem we have is it's the, uh, the relocation adapter, the black piece, is hard against the underside of the tunnel here, so we're going to have to shim the trans cross member down a bit to give us some clearance here. That may or may not affect our pinion angles, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of looking into that. Worst case, we can, uh, we can cut a little relief in here, do a little bit of sheet work if we have to. I don't think we're gonna need to do all that though. So that's a wrap on this episode. Thanks for watching. Don't be afraid to use our subscribe button. Check out our Shopify page. Go to our Facebook page. Go to our website. We'll probably even have a story on our website on all this SQ Engineering stuff soon. So yeah, speed.academy. No dot com required, people. We're that advanced.